Hello everyone, my name is Andrew. Today I will tell you about artificial intelligence and how it's changing the fintech industry and make it even more interesting than it was before. Let's begin. Before we get started, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a professional marketing specialist. I studied marketing at university and have been working in the marketing for 20 years, 14 of which I have been working in the fintech industry. And right now I am the chief marketing officer at Welltrade. Trade is a financial company. Okay, so today I will tell you about several interesting cases that my colleagues in the industry are doing and which I have directly encountered at work with every day. I will tell you a little bit about bots, bot agents, and how artificial intelligence is changing the infrastructure of the brokers themselves. We will also talk about content and how content creation is currently becoming one of the main jobs for artificial intelligence. I will tell you about how AI helps in advertising and in acquiring and retaining customers. I will give you two good examples from my previous companies, Libertex and Wolby. And we will finish this presentation with a short discussion on the topic of the future of AI in fintech. Okay, so let's start with chatbots and bot agents. This is the most obvious case of using artificial intelligence, in my opinion. And at the moment, I have several examples when AI completely changed the entire customer support department. Many of you already know what Intercom is. Intercom is highly convenient platform for customer support where you can connect all incoming requests from online chats, emails, different social media networks in one place. They already have a built-in AI feature. And when I worked at crypto startup, Uhodler, we were one of the first company who actually tried their feature. And we did this with two different approaches. The first one, we built a regular chatbot that solved the most popular problems right in the online chat. It did not just answer questions, but actually solved problems. For example, we with the searching of for a transaction in the blockchain or with the verification status at the KYC stage. And this bot instantly reduced the flow of incoming requests in the department and actually decreased the workload for the whole team. And secondly, we connected the AI agent to all dialogues with life support specialists so that the AI agent could learn. And in just a couple of weeks, the bot completely learned how and what to answer people. Then we launched it on its own, but only on night shifts when we had a shortage of life agents. And that bot did really well. The advantages of AI in the support department are obvious. AI reacts faster, AI is more accurate, and it's not subject to emotions because sometimes life agent can be not in a good mood and person just can reply something not that politely or it's not that accurate. And most important, AI can work 24 seven without salary. What did all these cases lead to, you can ask? And I think many have already guessed. When we just first started this project, we had 14 different people working at the customer support department. Now there are only three left and they are doing pretty good. And the last case is about feedback. When I worked at A Markets, we created an amazing AI bot on Telegram for collecting all feedbacks on the internet about the company for the last 24 hours with automatic translation. For example, every morning at 9 a.m. I had a notification from that bot with all the feedback that we had on Trustpilot, App Store, Google Play yesterday. That allowed me to constantly monitor the situation with our customer service and our scores everywhere. Okay, so let's mo move on. This is the more complex case of AI application in fintech. I would call it infrastructure. I know of several good examples of AI use in compliance and dealing. Firstly, this is the very obvious case with money laundering and screening of clients and their transactions. There are several companies that provide such service for several thousands dollars a month. But the good news is you can do it yourself completely. Today, there are solutions where AI helps fintech companies check clients for sanctions lists and analyze incoming transactions, 
check and decrypt the wallets and addresses just to make sure that wallet is a red flag, not green flag. And secondly, I know several examples of successful integration of AI into the dealing infrastructure. Even in my current company, AI successfully tracks suspicious trading activity, asset price manipulation or group bonuses laundering. The system automatically analyzes when something suspicious happens, for example, very similar trades from the same location with the same IP address, but with different devices. And <clears throat> finally, AI successfully assists dealing in daily work, for example, managing liquidity and order book and also helping with price slippage. Okay, enough about boring stuff. Let's talk about customer acquisition and advertisement. As many companies have already switched completely to AI-generated generated content. As an example of big players, I can refer to eToro. I was recently in London at the finance conference, finance magnates conference, and I talked to Stephanie. She's the marketing director at eToro. And she said that almost all the text on, the web, on their website, all the pictures and translations were made using AI. In addition, she said that their latest big advertisement campaign, which they launched for the Olympic Games this year, was 95% made with the help of AI. You can Google this campaign and watch videos on YouTube. It's really cool. It, it's really amazing. Another example of successful use of AI in work is uh, Rootstock Lab. You can check their website. That's the crypto startup from Europe. And all their content on the website, including pictures, images, translation, is made with the help of AI. Their latest educational and advertising campaign, which they launch in honor of Bitcoin birthday, was made entirely with the help of AI. What can I say is just wow. Okay, from attracting clients, we move on to activating them and retaining them. As an example of using AI, I can tell you about my case with Libertex, where I can work, where, where I worked for six and a half years. And for those who don't know, Libertex is a trading platform. And like many other offers, large brokers, they had the resources to support an entire department called the Academy. So the Trading Academy was engaged in preparing trading ideas, trading strategies, writing digests, making forecasts for various assets and every quarter releasing large analytical reports on various markets with forecasts and price prediction. So as soon as AI appeared, we decided to try to use it in daily tasks. Yes, of course, we had to train the model first for a really long time, but what they have now is just simply amazing. According to statistics, AI even often gives more accurate forecasts than a human. And the Academy is no longer exists. Now it's called Libertex Lab, and it has everything for new clients as well as experienced traders. As you may know, one of the biggest pain points for a newbie in financial markets is opening the first deal. People are just afraid to make a mistake. They are not experienced enough yet. Yes, they may understand what they are interested in, for example, gold or Bitcoin, but they are not even sure which direction to open the deal, up or down, long or short. So now this problem completely covered by trading signals. If you don't know what to trade, no problem. Here is the whole set of trading signals where you can open several deals on different assets at once with just one click and earn money fast. For more tra advanced traders, AI prepares trading ideas, trading strategies, reviews and weekly digests with price forecasts for different assets. In general, as far as I remember, out of 12 people who used to work at the academy, only two people remain who work with prompts and constantly generate content. So that's about it. AI taking our jobs. Okay, so moving next to my favorite example yet. Uh, Wolby is the next generation trading platform, completely focused on AI, 
the idea is pretty simple. AI will help you to trade better. And the biggest flaw of a successful trader is emotions. Sometimes emotions make a successful trader not very successful and the person can just lose all the money. This is the problem that Wolby solves. They initially made their platform based on the AI. At the very initial stage, a trader can choose an assistant, like a co-pilot who is ready to adapt to the trading style and needs of any person. In Wolby, those assistants are called buddies. At the moment, you can choose one of five different buddies, depending on the assets you are interested in, the level of risk tolerance that you have, and your trading strategy. In essence, five different bodies are different prompts that work with, within the specific frameworks, uh, highly versatile. They can, they're capable of fundamental and technical analysis. Roughly speaking, they constantly monitor what is happening in the news or social media and give forecasts on how this may affect the price of a particular coin. For example, if Elon Musk writes something positive about Dogecoin on Twitter, the body will give you a buy signal almost immediately. In addition, the body constantly analyzes the charts. If any pattern is noticed on the candles, you will also receive a push notifications with the, with the trading signal. When you click on this notification, you will immediately be offered a deal, which you can accept and open in literally one click. I think this is uh, very cool. And as far as I know, this project is growing and developing really fast. And at the moment, they already have tens of thousands of active traders per day. I wish them a very good luck. Okay, almost at the end of the presentation, let me tell you a little bit about how AI helps very large corporations. Bloomberg and Reuters have already widely implemented AI in their processes. For example, I know about a unique technology that helps them to research and analyze large amounts of data. The AI-based system scans all the world's weather forecasts, websites. The system monitors natural disasters, like droughts, floods, and other events that can somehow affect the harvest of various assets, such as coffee, cocoa, or wheat. If the AI sees something that can affect the harvest, for example, it can affect the price of the asset. AI automatically writes an analytical forecast based on the data and sends this report to a person who can make a decision. I think this is an amazing example how AI can help traders. So you can take your time to find all articles on Reuters and Bloomberg where they predict a rise in coffee prices. And as you may know, right now, coffee prices have reached record levels. Okay, my final slide. Let's talk about the future. What do you think awaits fintech in the near future? I think there are several possible scenarios. We may be able to fully customize the interface, like Tom Cruise in the Minority Report movie, for example. AI can completely change our understanding of inter interaction with the interface. Maybe we won't even need to monitor the price chart anymore. Who knows? Uh, I'm a hundred, almost a hundred percent sure that soon more and more platform will add trading bots. Each trader will be able to choose any bot depending on the trading strategy, risk tolerance, or deposit amount, and perhaps. Soon we will see how brokers will add the ability to customize the trading platform itself. For example, someone may find the buy long buy button on the right side more convenient than on the left and vice versa. Who knows? Someone needs a minute charts while someone else doesn't need charts at all. AI can generate and customize any interface for the needs of every trader as it will be convenient for him or for her. In general, I think that AI in fintech is just gaining momentum and uh, the most interesting is yet to come. Okay, so <clears throat> that's all I have for now. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoy it. Please, you can scan. If you want to connect with me, just scan the QR code and let's be in touch on LinkedIn. And for now, bye everyone. Thanks again.